you guys so much god knows i've missed you guys so much so i'm very sorry for not posting any video last week you know we had we are people under authority here yeah, and under the authority of god i'm proud to that the holy spirit instructed that we shouldn't post any video last week friday so that's what happened so i believe many of you have been anticipating where are these guys where are these guys where is this personal life but you know we are here today and i believe we are going to be blessed because we have a wonderful package for you so i invited a special guest to take the teaching today so his name is Brokey so he is going to feature very soon so I want you to stay tuned for those of you that are here to subscribe please subscribe now and for those who are here to like for those who are here to even share with your friends it's not good though please eh? just make sure you do so and also um, I've, I've read through your comments and I'm really I'm really grateful for your comments yeah God bless you all so please stay tuned God bless you. hey everyone my name is peace Olulade, and i hope you are going to be blessed to be after today's teaching before we go ahead let's pray jesus we say thank you for this opportunity to learn at your feet we ask that you are about to dish out your word to us Lord, let our spirit be defined in jesus mighty name amen all right guys the title of today's teaching is the traffic light the traffic light right? sounds weird right but it's going to be very 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 interesting later on all right, so we're going to use sorry, we're going to use this um, colors to illustrate how a traffic traffic light looks like. The first one is of course the red light that tells you to stop. Second one is the amber light or the yellow light as people call it that tells you to get ready. Then the third one is the green light that tells you to move on or go ahead. Likewise, in the realm of the spirit, the Holy Spirit expects you as a believer to follow every instruction He gives you. When He tells you to stop, you have to stop. Probably you are going on an adventure and you are going to ask Him for instruction or for direction. And He tells you to stop. If you go ahead, you are going to miss it eventually. And when He tells you to get ready on something, you have to also get ready. And likewise, when He tells you to move, you have to move on. As I remember, it's working tells us that for as many as led by the Spirit, they are called the sons of God. The Spirit expects you as a believer to follow every instruction He gives you. When He tells you to move ahead, you move ahead. He tells you to get ready, you get ready. Like what we have said earlier. So that's basically what today's teaching is going to be centered about. Or is centered about, brother. So I hope you have been blessed so far, and I know that you are going to practice what you have learned. Just a short teaching, but very deep. Let's close eyes as take a short, um, short closing prayer. In Jesus' name, we say thank you for ministering to us, for um, helping us to understand um, the reason why we must obey your instructions. Lord, please help us Lord, to follow you and your instructions every single day of our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen.
they have it guys <laughs> the traffic light so you can't even be directed by the right spirit if you're not yet saved jesus christ is the only access point by which you can receive the holy spirit so if you're here to give your life to christ now is the best moment to do so i want you to close your eyes and repeat after me jesus i thank you for this moment i want you to be the lord and overseer of my soul I'm sorry for the way I've lived in the past and I acknowledge my wrongdoings. Please come into my life and I want to gain access to your Holy Spirit so that I can be directed to fulfill my purpose and destiny in life. Thank you, Lord, for I know you've answered me. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So now you are welcome to God's family. So the Spirit of God dwells inside you. And that is a wonderful thing. Now you start hearing directions from the Spirit of God. Oh, go do this. This is how she do this. This is how she do that. And then you're going to fulfill your destiny. God bless you so much. So see you guys next week Friday. See ya!